Hey guys, welcome back to Man Eater. Like, comment, subscribe, really helps me out. And turn on post notifications so you can get notified when another awesome gameplay like this comes out. Let's get into it. So, I tried making another episode, but the audio was not working for some reason. So that video had to be trashed. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, I am now level 7, and 1 hour and 8 minutes into it. When we said 18, I can't remember. But yeah. Dead Horse Lake plays host to the city's working poor, who come despite its frequent water quality alerts. So, uh... Yeah, I'm now level 7, and I guess a team. So, yeah. Oh, and I unlocked bioelectric teeth, as you can see, and a new evolution part. And I have adventure so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
demand for male enhancement products derived from rare features. for backup upon spotting their prey. Dinor's legs got a short situation. Poor shark hunt. Shark versus dolphin. Orca versus giant squid. Boat versus pylon. When establishing dominance, the contest is usually a deadly one, with survival as the prize.
I gotta say, that shark's whole anti-hero thing just wasn't playing for me. <laughs> Dead Horse Lake has reawakened candid public debate about human progress. Perhaps having gone too far with her pranks and hijinks is now the subject of a county-wide shark. Attack. I don't know what you're holding there, but we need some boats out on Dead Horse Lake. Multiple shark attack reports. Shark situation. Let's move. Yo, play hide and sink. has forgotten all about its rogue shark, for now.
needle tooth nightmare, the Barracuda. Bubba Fondo and the Barracuda Boys were voted Port Clovis' best party band three years running. Curiously, none of the boys are actual Barracudas. recognize it as the title of a classic rock radio staple, did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's true. is a bad investment. Back on board the Cajun Queen. That's Kyle, my son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. I got one hand can still tie a hook. You got two can barely tie his shoes. <laughs> Must get that from his mama. Yeah. He used to help my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. He was a shark on him. That's all he was. If anybody were gonna catch the Mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment, got himself loose. Boy, he wanted that job. Wanted it bad. Found it once. Didn't catch it, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh... I ain't got time to answer questions all day. 
Got work to do. I'm still gonna eat man. Just like Kyle LeBlanc, our young bull is the inheritor of a long family tradition, struggling to find her place in the world. Just theorize that sharks are attracted to come ashore by the refreshing tropical scent of wine glass. <laughs> Say what you want. Them hobos, good workers. Unlike my so-called son, Kyle. That's why I pay him to stay on the lookout for that shark. Shores was built as vacation residences for wealthy out-of-towners, with spectacular ocean views, private beach access, and a gate to keep out the locals. Bull sharks seem to take a perverse delight in upsetting a boating excursion.
Vessels ruled the sea. Sharks were their constant companions. to pass up a fat fiesta. Shark's target could spell death.
use of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness.
bull shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. tomato soup. The Golden Shores import this mako from Sri Lanka and train it to guard their community? Not likely, but let's pretend <laughs> they did, as it makes for a more interesting storyline.
rapacious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. Nothing gets a kingfish in the mood quite like watching a 73-year-old hit a double boat. The fact that they've turned the waters off Baton Tordu into a spawning ground attests to their love of seniors golf. Blooded rover moves confidently through her liquid. are still legal according to Baton Tordu course rules. But not for long, if membership director Doug Thompson has anything to say about it. is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. 